Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Very happy. Very happy. I was very tired, teacher. Good evening. A lot of work. Yes, teacher. Good evening, partners. Good evening, teacher. Okay. The work is difficult. Aida, can you hear me? Uh, just a little. A little, okay, okay. Let me check the others. Reina, can you hear me? Uh, sorry. Can you hear? Can you hear me, Reina? Yes. Yes. Okay. I want to make sure that the volume is okay for everyone. Okay. Uh, Josue, can you hear me? It's okay. No. Josue. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I see, I see. For the volume, okay, okay, no problem. All right, good. I see the chat. I didn't notice. Okay. Okay, no problem, no problem. All right, guys, good. So what we're going to do is, before we continue with today's class, are there any questions about yesterday? Is there anything that is not clear or you didn't understand in the platform? No, everything is, is okay? It's okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes? I have a problem with the meter tenth, it meter tenth and um, last knowledge. It's possible it's a reading I, I don't see. I, I can't see. Okay, which which reading or, or, or which knowledge check? Is the, is the last in the middle test? So let's take a look. So it's, it's in the midterm? Yeah, in the midterm. Okay. So it's unit three, correct? Yes. Okay. So let's see. Unit three. And the problem is in the midterm? Yeah. I can't see the reading. reading. Okay, let me take a look. Maybe is maybe it's the problem for the platform or is the problem for the computer? Let's see. Uh, reading. Match complete read. Okay. In the last one. In this one. And read the article. Teacher, this one I can't see. Okay, perfect. So, okay. Let me send an email. That way we have this in this moment. Okay. Vaya a comprar. Okay. Por ahí está el dinero, la, la, la cartera, Roma. Okay. No problem. I I will report and that way they can fix it. Okay. That way is let me put and I I'm going to write in this moment to the English operativo. That way the before we finish the course, we can have it. Okay. Just one second. <laughs> Okay, any other questions besides this? Um, I have another question about mm -hmm. the, the um, what is knowledge using how, como, como tan, algo así es la pregunta. 
Que debemos de usar, así por ejemplo, how long is the night river? Así es este. Está en el 4, en el 5, me recuerdo, pero le he puesto de varias formas y no me da. Ok. Cuando encuentre cuál es, me avisa. El 4, el 5, la sección y el ejercicio. Ok. Any other questions? En Eida, lo busca y nos avisa. And ok, teacher. Thank you very much. Of course, Eida, of course. And any questions? Ok. Well, I congratulate you, Eneida, because you are advancing a lot, a lot. That's good. Already you are in chapter three, chapter four. Woof. You're going to finish. It's good. It's good. But okay, the others. But I, I need your help always, oh, teacher. <laughs> of course, of course. And so, okay. and for the others that we are working together, we are in this moment in 2.5, the infinitive complements. This is from yesterday, okay? So if we remember from yesterday, we saw infinitives. Infinitives are just a verb. Let's watch a little bit the video and remember, what are we talking about? Garlic soup. Okay. If you remember, it's here. It's your opinion. It's important. It's a good idea. It's helpful. These are for the tips or the recommendations. And then we use the word to and the verb to give what is the recommendation, okay? So as an example, if I want to improve my English, if I want to improve my English, ah, it's important to study. It's important to watch uh, movies in English. It's a good idea to listen to music in English. Do you remember how yesterday when we talk about recommendations? So, so? No? A recommendation, I remember um, you, for your health, it's very good. It uh, it's a lot of garlic. Garlic. Good, good. It's it's very helpful to remember. It's very helpful to eat a lot. Uh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, using the the infinitive. That's Correct. okay, teacher. Thank Correct. you. Correct. Good. And this, like she mentioned, like Ineda mentioned, is the topic for the suggestions. It's helpful to to the topic. It's important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. So in this moment, we are going to make pairs and we're going to give recommendations to our partners for learning English or improving our English. What are the recommendations for you? What is a good idea? What is important, right? We're going to give three recommendations, minimum, minimum three recommendations. One recommendation was helpful, one recommendation with important and one recommendation with a good idea. Okay. So what am I going to do? I'm going to put into the chat in the WhatsApp so we are clear. And with our partner, we are going to make okay three recommendations minimum. But not a long time. We're going to have, uh, let's say, three minutes for us to participate with our partner. Sure. Uh, yes? A three recommendation is the heart, the, the heart, the salud. No, no, it's for learning English, for improving okay. English. Improve our English. Correct. Okay, okay. thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Okay.
Aida, Hector, Emily, any questions? Okay, Alejandro, I'm going to send you to the room so you can practice. Aida, you didn't join your group. Emily, your group. Hector, your group. What happened, Aida? No escuchas. Aida? Hey, Alejandro. Okay, let me send you to a room with your partner. Aida, your microphone, your microphone is on mute. Okay, guys, perfect. Any questions? No question, no, teacher. Not to share. Not to share. Okay, let's check with examples. Okay. Josue, one example with helpful. Um, for example, when we have flu, we can't drink um, manzanilla tea or going to the medical. Mm, but mm, yes, Jesus but remember is for improving your English using helpful. Uh, Edwin, it's okay, it's okay. We here, let's try with Edwin. Edwin, one example with helpful. Mm, it's important. Uh, it's the same with the, the practice. It's helpful to do exercise. One, one sentence with helpful to improve your English. It is helpful to, to go to the dentist. To improve English. Hmm? To improve English. I don't it understand. Is it's helpful to read in English. Ah, okay, okay. To hang on, put in the chat for you, to help you, Edwin. To improve English. Practice was to improve English. What are the recommendations to improve English? Mm, uh, it is helpful. 
it's helpful to learn a new vocabulary in English. Okay, it's helpful to learn a new vocabulary. Good. Okay. okay. And, and Neida, with important, it's important to learn English. Um, because you can have um, a lot of opportunities for that job. Okay, but remember one sentence, like the example, one sentence. It's important. You it's important. It's important to learn to learn English for the job. For a job. Okay, so how do you? But know why learn English? How to improve your English? Mm, how do you, okay. Okay, it's important to learn English uh, every day. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay, let me help you. Okay, don't worry. We try another person. It's not correct. Cloud okay. use important. Okay. okay. Sure. Uh, yes. Uh, the other example uh, uh, is. Um, is a car wash a movies in the English? Repeat, Joanna. A, a other example is a car wash a movies in the English. Mm, yes, but no. those are yes, but we need to make the sentence correctly, no, not only the ideas. So let me help. You. So for example. For example, uh, it's important to listen music for each time. Correct. Okay. That's one. It's important to listen to music. Okay. Teacher, I understand. I can say it another. Yes. Use, but not important. Use a good idea. Now, oh, okay. with a good idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's important to... Good idea, Nate. What? Good idea. Good idea? Yes. I... It's the use vocabulary. a good idea. Ah, okay. See, okay. Three, number three here. It's a good okay. idea. Okay. It's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. It's a, it's a good idea to watch TV if... To, to watch cartoons in English? Okay, correct, correct. Okay. So when you want to give recommendations, we have the three forms. You use, it's helpful, it's important, or it's a good idea. And it's for the different, not only for health, for all. How do I save money? I want to have more money. How do I save more money? Ah, it's a good idea to put the money in the bank. It's a good idea to. Uh, it's a good idea not to spend money. Okay. These are the ideas. It's okay how to use those words. I understand. Okay. Teacher. All right. Yes. Teacher. Yes. I have a sentence. Okay. Yes. Is it is helpful to go or to visit the dentist each six months? The sentence is correct. The dentist. Yes, no, no, no. Your sentence is correct. Grammatically, it's correct. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Osmel, you have a question? Yes, teacher. When when I say help helpful, uh, helpful is for all or only help. You can use it helpful. Yes, you can use helpful. So for all. Yes, it's helpful too, uh, and then you can use for all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. Remember, what are we going to practice now? Now, with our partners, we're going to practice using this grammar or giving recommendations. 
with our partners, we have five sentences. Five sentences. Yesterday, uh, we had a question in the chat. They put, we, we explained in the class that here you need two answers. Remember, we talked yesterday, you need two answers, okay? So with your partner, you are going to complete knowledge check 2.6, the five, okay? Is not the entire sentence, only the part that you need. So for this part, I think it's only five, I think three minutes is enough. Okay, so we have three minutes with our partners to complete the exercise. Hector, any questions? Hector, can you hear me? Okay, any questions? No questions, teacher. No, teacher. No. Okay. It's pretty easy, okay? I like it. That's good. Okay. So, now we have all of those are for the ideas for how to have those. Use the two. Remember, give your opinion and then use the word two. Okay. Now we're going to have a little bit about suggestions, right? This suggestion is pharmacist. And we're going to learn how to make suggestions. When we make suggestions, we use model verbs. For example, you should, you could, you might. But we're going to see the video and we're going to see how it's possible to make different types of suggestions. Okay? Let's try. 
Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and questions. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Hi, ready to... So, as we can see, we have many things. There's a lady at a pharmacist, okay? Or a chemist, if it's in Europe. But in the U.S., it's a pharmacy. What does she want? She, what medicine does she want to look for? So what medicine does she want? She wants medicine for? Here, it's me. Huh? What's 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 I don't know if you have bad communication, but sometimes the voice is cut. Medical for a cough. Okay, for a cough. That's right. So she wants something for a cough. Cough. Good. And what else? She wants um, um, okay, she wants something for dry skin. For dry skin. And then what else does she want? No energy. For, uh -huh, she wants something for energy. If you see, we have many ways to make suggestions. Uh, one way is the word. It's easy. I suggest. Another way is try. Okay. And the other way is should. These are the different ways to make suggestions with our partners. Recommendations. Okay. When we give recommendations, we can use those different words. In this moment, we are going to practice speaking the conversation with our partners. If you have difficulty in the computer, it's also in the WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp, you can check and you can see the conversation in the WhatsApp, okay? So we're going to practice two times. One time, the pharmacist, and the other picture, Mrs. Webb. And then we change, then Mrs. Webb, and the other partner, the pharmacist, and we practice the conversation. It's okay? Okay. 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 Let's practice the conversation. Maria Eugenia and Monica, you practice here. With Aida, you okay, practice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, Eugenia. Hola. How are you? I'm fine, Monica. You are Mrs. Mrs. Webb of the pharmacist. Uh, whatever. It is okay. If you like, uh, beginning you. Okay, but I'm the pharmacist. I don't, but don't, no tengo la conversación. Ah, in the WhatsApp. Then, okay, thank you. Great. Okay. okay, thank you. Hi, may I help you? <coughs> yes, please. Could I have something for a cow? I'll th I think 
I'm getting a call. Well, I suggest a bus of these cough drops. Cough drops. Thank you. And what do you do? What do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's hello, very good. Hello. Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Hi. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. But I I'm having problems of connection this day. <laughs> ah, okay. But este I repeat again. Um okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy this day can you suggest anything he should try some of these multivitamins creo que se dice they're excellent great i have three large bottles please okay thank you no. <laughs> now um and now you are pharmacist uh no now I am a pharmacist and you, Miss Webb. Okay. We are in the class. Other, other again. It's the time Hello. is finished. Yes, already the class returned. Already they finished. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Long time, long time. Uh huh. But, but good. It's good to try. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. No problem. No problem. Okay. So now that we have an idea, we practice. We understand that we use many modal verbs. Those are the words that we use like can, could, may. We can use them for requests or we can use them for suggestions. In this moment, we're going to watch a video to see the difference. It's important to watch the video and take notes. What is the difference verbs and the function for each one? Hello everyone, this time we will be introduced to the modal verbs can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests, suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? If you see, the three are the same function. They are to make requests. Do you want something? Ah, you can use can, you could use could or may. It's okay, it's the same meaning. They are interchangeable. You can change can and could. For example, could I have a box of cough drops? May I have a box of cough drops is the same meaning, no difference. What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each model verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. Okay. So as we can see, the most important is that we use with have, right? 
can I have, may I have, could I have? This is for making the request, okay? So you go to a restaurant, ah, okay. May I have a Pepsi? Could I have a pizza, uh, right? These are all the same ideas. What are we going to do with our partners? We're going to practice trying to use them, okay? So with our partners here in 2.11, 2.11, we're going to use can, would, may, have, try, suggest, or should. We're going to use the correct ones, okay? Now, remember, if it's at the beginning, you need to use capital letters, right? This is the capital letters, like this. That's the capital. So for this activity, is going to be with our partners, as we can see, we have really, I think it's a, three conversations, three small conversations, A and B, A and B. It's important to read, practice, and then complete with the word that you think is the correct one. For this, we're going to have a little bit more time. Uh, we're going to have five minutes, five minutes to complete and practice the conversation with your partners. So the two activities, complete, check, and then practice with the partner. It's okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. And that you guys are going to practice here. So you three, Maria, Monica, I think Aida has problems with the audio, so she can't speak, but you can practice here. Okay, teacher. Hello again, Maria, Eugenia. Hello again, Monica. <laughs> okay. And the first, the first question is, um, I help you. It's uh, okay. May. May. May I help May. you? May. Okay. B. The answer is yes. Answer yeah. Uh, yes. Can I have something? Can I have something for? Itchy eyes. Itchy is a kind of come song, teacher. Picasso. Okay, oh. thank you. A. Sure. A. Sure, I, I suggest, suggest uh, a bottle of eye drops. Two, A, what do you, if you say special for sore muscles? Suggest, what did you suggest for sore muscles? Uh-huh. Suggest. And then the B? Yes. Seria, uh-huh. Do you try this ointment? It's excellent. And that will be sure. You should try. You try. Mm -hmm. You should try. And then the tree. Mm -hmm. he said, he said, I, I have a box of bandage, please. That could be can. Can I have? Can I have? Uh -huh. Can. I have a box of bandage, please. Sería, um, what do you uh, should? Sería ahí? No. What did you su suggest? It's currently said suggest or, or what? <laughs> ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Suggest. Lo estoy diciendo bien, no. Suggest. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. 
You're welcome. And what do you suggest for insomnia? Uh -huh. B. B yeah. and try. Try some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Try. Okay. Try. And and the B is room, room. Uh, the number two. Two. Uh, you say, uh, say A. And uh, what do you suggest for some muscle? So for uh, sorry, sorry for, for sort of muscles. Hey, and B. Can aspirins. Sorry. I take hmm? some aspirin or oh, vitamin C. No, is the complete the uh, is complete the questions and the answers with the espacio, con espacio blanco? Uh -huh. With can, could, men have tried to guess or shoe? Mm -hmm. Yes. And then, teacher, how do you, how do you say in English? To <laughs> how do you say in English? Two point eight. Correct. Two point eleven. It's two point eleven. Two point eleven. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. <laughs> two point eleven, Aida. Yes, I finished it. Excellent. Okay. The class return. It's already five minutes. Okay. Okay. Hello. 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 Good. Good. Ah, it's amazing. Five minutes fast, right? Yeah, teacher. At the first time. Yes, teacher. Ah. Yeah, and imagine only only a, a little conversation, only one word, but let's check. Let's make sure it's correct for everyone, okay? Okay, teacher. So number one, number one, what is the answer for I help you? Let me put, uh-huh. May. 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 may or can, correct. The or can. You yes. can use may or can, good. Yeah. And then we have the other words. Yeah. I have something for itchy eyes. May. Correct. May or can. Or could. The three. Remember the uh -huh. three. Because it's a request. Can I? Could I? Or may I? And then it says, sure. I, a bottle of eye drops. I suggest. I suggest. suggest? Correct. I suggest. It's like I recommend, correct. Then number two, what do you for sore muscles? Have. What do you have or what do you suggest? The two forms are what correct. Do you, what, what do, do you, you have? Suggest? Yes, the two are correct. What do you have? Suggest. Ah. You try this ointment. It's excellent. Sure. You should. You should. You should. You should. Good. And number three. I have a box of bandages, please. Can I have? Can I have? Good. Can. Could I have? Correct. Or may I have? Okay. And then it says, and what do you for insomnia. Suggest. Uh, Excellent. Suggest. The two are correct. Right. What do you have or what do you suggest for insomnia? Yeah. Answer. Some of this herbal tea. It's very relaxing. Try. 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 Okay. Try. Very good. Try. Excellent. Try. Perfect. Okay. Ooh. Any questions? No questions. You sure uh, I'm not sure in the letter A in the first. Okay, let me go back. I don't know if you say have or or should. Hey, let's try me. You see? 
may I help you? And we check only, only for that one. You see? May I help you? Or we can say, let we can try can. Let's see. Let's see. Also, is correct with can. We have more than one answer as possible. Yeah. Yes. In the letter A, one, please. I don't know. <laughs> And uh, Neda, your microphone is very loud. We can hear the conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What was the question in number one? Letter A. Number one, letter A. Can. Oh, no. In the um, sure I. Ah, okay. Okay. Here. Sure. I. A bottle of eye drops. Okay, remember I is recommendation. So when this recommendation is the word suggest. Ah, okay. When you recommend is your opinion is suggest. Yeah. It's okay? Yes, that's it. Okay, perfect, perfect. So we continue for our listening practice. In the listening practice, we're going to listen to a pharmacist talking. We are going to listen and we want to answer these four questions. So listen and what is the idea? What is the problem? There are four people. What is the problem for each person? Listen to four people talk to a pharmacist. Check each person's problem. One. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like something for my feet. I went on a long hike yesterday and my feet are really sore. I see. Why don't you try some of this ointment? You can put it on at night. Very good for sore feet. I use it myself, actually. Two. Excuse me. I'm looking for something for a stomachache. I see. How long have you had this problem? For a few days, and it's getting worse. I'll give you some pills to take for a few days. They should help. Take two of these three times a day with meals. Three. Can I help you? Yes. I just came back from London on a long flight, and I'm having trouble sleeping. We have several things for that, including sleeping pills. But I suggest you try some of this herbal tea. It's very good for jet lag. Drink some before you go to bed at night. Thanks. I'll try it. I don't like taking sleeping pills. Four. Good morning. What can I do for you? Um, I need something for a burn. I burned my hand a little when I was cooking last night. Look here. Oh, yes. I'll give you some cream for it. After you put on the cream, place a bandage over it for a few days. You should be fine. Thanks. It's okay or one more time? It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's try together. Number one, what is the problem? The man's, the man's feet are, are sore. The man's feet are sore. Okay, okay. What about number two? What is the problem? The woman has, the woman a has up his upset stomach. stomach. Good. Has okay. stomach. The pronunciation, listen, the pronunciation. Upset stomach. Upset stomach. Upset stomach. Upset stomach. Upset stomach. Upset stomach. Good, good. What about number three? What's the problem for number three? The men have the difficulty, man has difficulty has sleeping. sleeping. Excellent. And number four? The woman the burned, woman burned, burned the her hand. hand. The woman burned her hand. Let's see. Hey, very good job. Do you see? 
Excellent. All of them are correct. Okay. Before we continue, are there any questions for unit two? This is unit two. Any questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Tomorrow we are going to begin unit three. Today we're just going to have an introduction, okay? Unit three is about, we're going to learn words like so, to, neither, and either. So those are the, a few of the things that we're going to learn in tomorrow's. In this moment, we are going to practice more speaking activities, more speaking activity. As an example, with your partner, you are going to give a situation and your partner is going to give you the recommendation. So imagine my partner is Emily. Emily, I have a headache. What should I do? You should to take some aspirin. Thank you, Aida. All right, you should, you should take some aspirin. You should take some aspirin. Emily, this here. It's okay. Okay, no problem. All right. Let's try another example. Let's try Edwin de Jesus. Edwin de Jesus, I have insomnia. I have insomnia. What should I do? Um, <clears throat> should, you should um, exercise. Exercise. Yeah, it's good. It's good, Edwin. Yeah, that's correct. That's what we're going to do with our partners. You're going to give a problem and your partner is going to give a recommendation. Anything for cooking, for food, for health, for work, to improve English. Okay. Hey, I want to improve my fluency. What should I do? Oh, I want to make lasagna. What should I do? And any recommendations. We're going to practice. Okay. No, only help. Any. It's okay? Yes, it's okay. okay. Okay, perfect. Five minutes speaking, only speaking with your partner. Five minutes. Hi, Josue. Mm -hmm. So, Aida. Sí. Maria, the three are going to practice here, the three. Okay. Okay, teacher. Este. Hi, Aida. Hi, good, I, good evening. I have a, a little a stomach ache tonight. What do what should you do? Good, Monica. Remember the pronunciation. Uh, stomach. Stomach. Ache. Ache. Stomach ache. Okay. I think you should to drink a lot of water. But I try to drink some a lot of water, but I. Um, I have a little. Um, it's in, what 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 do you say, teacher? Uh, como it didn't work. Aire, aire, empanzado. Aire, aire. Ajá, como decir estoy empanzada o. Ajá. I am. Uh -huh. Yes, I have. <laughs> I have air in my stomach. Ajá. Uh -huh. I try to drink some a lot of water, but. I have a, a lot of hair in my stomach. Okay, you, uh, you try to take some drops of air. Some what? Some, some drops. Drops? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Some drops. Maybe you will be better. Okay, I try. Aida, and, uh, give, no, Aida, and I have a flu. Eugenia, exactly. Give the problem to uh, 
Eugenia, the solution? Eugenia, okay. I have a flu. What can I do? Um, it's helpful to go to the bed early, but Thank take you. a shower with, well, no, a little shower. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> for me, for me, that's, that's, that is good, but not, not, not for you. Yeah. I have um, okay, I thank you for that. Bye. And it's important to drink to drink a, a lot, lot of water, water. a lot and of water, and warm and water. Tea. Uh huh. Some tea, and it is important to. How do you say abrigarse in English? Um, um, cover up. Excuse. Cover, cover up. up. And then the word Thank you. cover up. Okay, it is important to cover up and maybe take some drops. Okay, thank you. I will try all things. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> and right. I would like to make a cake. What I need or what can I do? The baker. Eugenia or Monica? For a, for a what? For bake a cake. Bake, baking, for baking a cake. Yeah, oh, for baking a cake. Oh. Uh, uh, I suggest for uh, to cook for egg. Flour, oh no, flour, flour, no, flour is flour. Yes. Arena yeah. is flour. And sugar, a little of sugar, a little, 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 little of uh, salt. And um, one spoon of vanilla, vanilla. Okay. And how many time I need to cook? How many? No, how no many how many times? times? No how many times? How much time? How much? How, how much time? Yeah. How much time I need to to cook? Yes. How much? And uh, and it's very important to see many videos about about do you want to cook? For example, do you want to cook a uh, um, carrot cake, see many videos about that, and that will be so helpful for you. You could tell me I need to watch videos. <laughs> yes, <many> videos. <laughs> okay, good, good job. Any questions on how to recommend or how to request information? No? Okay. No, teacher. Okay, so Thanks. now if you go to a restaurant, how do I request a drink? How do I request soda? Mm. Alejandro, do you want to try? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay, so if I want soda, how do I ask for soda in the restaurant? Um, I should, um, um, I drink, drink, huh? Could I drink soda? Uh-huh. Uh, it's no. a pizza hat, uh, Cafe Don Pedro. Mm -hmm, but not, but, uh -huh, but you are asking the waiter, you are asking the person, the person, the plate how do you do ask? you have do you have something to drink okay could you no. could you bring uh, me a okay. soda? Like correct to drink remember we learned today the request my request is may i have a soda uh -huh. may i have a coca-cola uh, could i have right could i have a pepsi could i have a fanta these are the requests the the thing that we learned today is for request request is i ask for nicely no demand 
No, do you have? No, okay. M may I have? Could I have? Right? This is for the idea we use. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, Ojenia. Eh, digamos, si yo estoy ordenando como un delivery, es correcto uh -huh. decir, may I order a pizza, for example? It's okay, yes. But normally, when you call, they say, hello, thank you for calling Pizza Hut. How may oh. I help you? They, they, oh. because they are offering. Mm -hmm. In this case, oh. I can decir, can I get? That's right. Can I get? Can I have? Yes. Could I have? Or may I have? The three, are, the three is, are correct. This is correct, okay. this sentence. For example, I would like to drink soda. Could I have a Pepsi? Correct. That is the correct way. Yes. Could I have a Pepsi? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Sure, but, uh, yes, Monica. Monica. Okay. Then, how do you say que? Uh, what? Mm, yes. I think la confusión sería what, what do you suggest to drink? This is different. This is different than que tipo de sodas. Que tipo de soda is what, what type kind. What kind or of soda? what kind. You have two forms. What kind of sodas do you have or what type of sodas do you have? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. La otra, la otra pregunta sería más para decir eh, qué tipo de bebidas tienen ustedes. Yes. What type of sodas or what type of drinks do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, remember, today we finished, we finished lesson two. Is necessary you complete lesson two in the platform if you are not complete with the stop and check. En teoría deberían estar al día porque muchos de los ejercicios lo hacemos en clase. Entonces no debería de haber alguna razón a menos que no están usando la plataforma en el momento de la clase. Pero pónganse al día, ¿ok? Teacher, I have a question. I have a problem with the last exam, uh, uh -huh. the middle exam, because I I doesn't appear the conversation. I could I could be the exam because doesn't appear the conversation. For the midterm, correct, Aida? Yes. Ya yes. lo reporté. Ya lo reporté. Lo, ah. van a, lo van a tratar de arreglar para mañana. No problem. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys. Have a great night. Tomorrow, begin lesson three. Begin lesson three. Prepárense. Ya casi va el midterm. Así de rápido va pasando. Okay. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Good Thank you, guys. Thank Good you, night. teacher. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you tomorrow. Take, take care.